Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Azure Infrastructure Update. It's the 23rd of June and a super, super quick update this week as we can see by the chapters. I had a super busy week at work, so I only got a chance to do one video this week because most of my hobby time was taken up with work. But I dived into bare metal infrastructure on Azure. What is the service? What can I do with the service? And considerations if I choose to use it. On to what's new. So on the compute side, we have this AKS, the Azure Kubernetes Service Network Observability Add-on. So this is about the idea now that I can scrape metrics from that managed Kubernetes service and ingest it into Prometheus. Now that could be the Azure managed Prometheus or it could be a bring my own Prometheus. And then I can visualize that with the Azure managed Grafana or bring my own Grafana. That's the key around this. Now it gives me a whole bunch of different metrics, which if we quickly dive over, you can see it talks about packet counts, byte counts, dropped packets. So that's the key point. These are node level network metrics, packet drops, connection stats, and more. It's gonna work with all of the Azure CNI, so that's the Azure CNI and the Azure CNI powered by Celium. It's gonna work for all of the AKS node types, uh, Linux and Windows. It is not showing me pod level information. So that's maybe a, a key thing to consider. But this add-on, hey, I can go and try this out. It's in preview. On to storage. So premium SSD V2 is now available in new regions. This is Southeast Asia, UK South, South Central US and West US 3. Remember the big deal with the V2 of the premium SSD is it's a lot more like Ultradisk. Now the IOPS and the throughput are separate dials from the capacity. And those IOPS and throughput dials, I can change dynamically. So while the disk is in use, to meet potentially the changing requirements. So I only pay for the performance I need at particular moments in time. So hey, I can use that now in more places. Ultradisk still has higher performance at the top end and it has lower latency. So there's still a benefit to Ultradisk. And then on the database side, there's now the Cosmos DB to Azure Data Explorer Synapse Link. So this enables near real-time analytics on Cosmos DB data through this managed connector. So as documents are created in Cosmos DB or modified, the connector would receive notifications via the Cosmos DB change feed and ingest it. And then of course, Azure Data Explorer has Power BI direct query capabilities. So I could then get Power BI near real-time reporting. So it's really almost sub-second latency. And that's it. I said it was super fast this week. Those are the updates. Until next one, take care.